Good morning guys, welcome to Vlogmas. Get ready for the jingle. It is a balmy 25 degrees here in semi-sunny Colorado and we've got, I think, a pretty chill day today. Uh, there were some coyotes out here this morning but Jason couldn't get the camera in time but there's been a family out there and, or we think it's a family, it looks like a mom and a couple of cubs. But anyways, today they caught some mice. So Jason could see him with the binoculars having mice dangling out their mouths and stuff. So quite interesting morning already. I have some video editing to do today and then I'm also hoping, oh, Hi, Bandy. I have some video editing to do today, and then I'm also hoping to make Spitzel cookies because we haven't done that yet this year, and we do that every single year. Um, it's one of my faves. So hopefully we can get all of that done today, and then we need to walk at this little guy. Here's Liv and Lexi behind us. Bandit and Lexi don't always get along that great, so walk time is fun. Did you hear that truck, Liv? No. They drove by and they said, hey, good looking. <laughs> and I turned around and I was like, who are they talking to? They were talking to me. Did you just throw up in your mouth a little? Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be a walk where Lexi pees on a tree, Bandit pees on a tree. Lexi pees on a tree, Bandit pees on a tree. Huh, I don't have a treat. I said tree. <laughs> He's looking at me like I have a treat. <sighs> I'm literally gonna die on this walk. There's ice everywhere and I've already slipped like three times. No, Bandy, have some respect, come on. Somebody ate Olivia's gingerbread house. We have a travesty, guys. <laughs> we suspect Jason, but we're not sure. And he ate the fire, or someone ate the fire. But her little bench pressing ab guy is still there, so that's a plus. Was it dad? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't eat Tyler. What's in, oops. What is that called? It's Starburst. Starburst. <laughs> I was gonna say Starbucks. <laughs> These, hey, you have to work for your candy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, girl, use some muscle. You can, oh, okay, we're gonna try. Nope. We need an advent opening tool, Ooh. AKA a chopstick or something. There we go. <laughs> nice. That's a cute, oh, they're shorties too. I like those shorty ones because then you can see the whole. It's like he's jumping out at you. All right, let's do day 17. Make white chocolate cranberry popcorn. Also, I made some progress on my hat last night, which is cool. We watched The Hobbit, well, part of The Hobbit, we didn't make it all the way through. Um, so I added this blue layer, and then I think I'm going to do this layer next. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think there's one more layer of decrease, and then I'll be done. In the meantime, let's see what is in <laughs> day number 17. I am trashing this box, you guys, holy cow. Now it does have the holes in it with the little um, markings like your sewing machine has it on it. So I'm wondering if it, you can use it to um, line up on your sewing machine where you need your seam allowance to be maybe. I'm not sure. I might have to check their website to see exactly what this tool is. But then the fact that it has this diagonal on it makes me think it might be like a binding tool. Anyways, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure what this one is. We'll have to check their website and see. And I will write it on the screen below. All right, time for the joke of the day. I think we forgot yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Oops, sorry guys, okay. Yesterday I saw a guy spill all of his Scrabble letters on the street. 
And I asked him, what's the word on the street? <laughs> I also have a package that is almost ready to go out to one of my winners. This is going out to Cindy. This is your fabric from the Sweetwater um, Christmas box giveaway that you won. So that is going out today. Haley is working hard here. Hopefully, is she working on my logo? No, she is. Oh. What are you doing? Filming? Yeah. Haley is filming for her YouTube channel. I will link that below. It's been linked on all of our vlogs. She is Haley Kitten Help on YouTube. Okay, so it is time for Pitzel's. This is a cookie tr um, that we make every year, so it's a tradition, I would say. We're gonna get to making Pitzel cookies. If you don't know what they are, I will show you by the time we're done. I also have a recipe on my website you can download, so I will link that in the description box below this video as well. And yeah, let's get to baking. Yeah, it's interesting. Is this a oolong Mine's too tea? Hot. What kind of tea is this? This is... Oh, it's a white tea. Yeah. So I used to get this tea from Tivana that has a, had a similar flavor. And actually, there's a little floaty in there. It kind of looks similar too. <laughs> but anyway, I think it was called an oolong. But yeah. yeah, it's a white tea. It's good. I like it. So I showed you guys this while I was making the tea, but a viewer <laughs> sent us this lovely card and she sent us the Downton Abbey tea that I was saying we couldn't get. So this is the one that oh, I love. Nice. Yeah, yes. that's Yes, and I still have not been able to find this online, so I don't even know if they make it anymore, but thank you so much, Michelle, for that. She sent us a lovely note. She also sent us three different types of tea to try, and so I just thought since that was so nice of her that we would go ahead and try one today. So this is Grand Peak Candy Apple, and yes, it's a white white tea, low caffeine. So Jason bought this from Tivana, and it's a white tea. It says Silver Needle. I don't know. I'm assuming you can still get it. They went online, he said. They closed their retail shops and went all online. I knew I recognized this tea, so yeah, cool. <laughs> All right, and our cookie for tonight are these lady fingers. So these are basically what you use in tiramisu, but they look kind of fun, and I'm Italian, so they eat lady fingers. Oh, and you can dip them in your tea, because they are kind of crunchy. I'm not dipping it in my tea. It's good. Yep. I don't know if I've ever had one of these, have I? I've had them in dessert before, but I don't think I've ever just like eaten one. They I have, mean, I'm assuming it's okay like, to eat. Like they're solid, but they feel really airy. Yeah, they're like a- Like a void when you puff, them. puff. Puff pastry, almost, but not. Anyways, they're good. All right, you ready for questions? Mm -hmm. Janet Jabber says, I would love to see some of your cross stitching. I'm part of Floss Tube World here on YouTube, and it's what we do. We show our cross stitching. I love floss tubes. Actually, I watched Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube and a couple others. I don't even know what <clears throat> cross stitching is. Hold on. So this is the one I've been working on for I think I, I started these a while ago. It's I, I had high hopes to be done by like Christmas and I this is as far as I've got. But anyways, there's nine different little panels. This is called Frosty Forest and it's by Country Cottage Needleworks. So you can buy these individually or you can buy them as a set. I bought all nine as a set and I was originally gonna put them all together on a pillow but I might end up cutting them out into ornaments. But yeah, so Jason just said this was in intricate but on our knit night the other night, I showed these um, and these are super cute and fun. 
Um, the ladies who were on our knit group both went and got their cross stitch and one of them was like a black and white, it looked like a photograph, I kid you not. It was like, of, uh, I, can't remember, I can't remember who it was, but it was a person and it literally looked like a photograph. The other one was called like Granny Angel or something and it was this amazing huge like angel with like ribbons and it was so amazing. I was like, okay, well. Here are my little houses, <laughs> but I am brand new, so I think I, I think it's fun. I, it's like nice to do in the evening. It's kind of relaxing and easy to cart around as well if I'm running. But yeah, so that's what cross stitch is. Reminds me of those little things that the kids have with the string where you wrap it and then put that little tool on it and pull it out. Oh, like a latch hook rug? <laughs> yeah. yeah, Katie does those. She actually cross stitches as well. But yeah, so this is my cross stitch. But if you want to keep up with all of my um, cross stitching and other crafts, make sure to check out my Erica's craft podcast. I have those. I don't know what I'm on episode like seven, I think now. And I always have fun giveaways, but I show all the fun projects I'm working on. So check those out. There will be another one coming soon after Vlogmas. Sansaucen1 says, thanks for Vlogmas. I think we especially need it now that we won't be meeting all our families this Christmas. Can you tell us about your family musical talents? How many instruments do you all play? Okay. So Jason played tuba in college or high school, but I don't. You probably can't still play, right? It's been so long. I don't. I mean, I could probably still play. I don't know if it would sound. Good. <laughs> sound good. Uh, Sam dabbles around. <laughs> He's trying to learn a violin. Um, I don't think he got very far though. We need a teacher for that. That one's really hard. But we have taught him ukulele and guitar, so he's working on that. He got an electric guitar for his birthday, so he plays that. Olivia and I both play guitar and ukulele, um, and we play all kinds of fun stuff. We actually played on Vlogmas last year, or the year before, and we got copyrighted because <laughs> we were playing Christmas songs, so can't do that on here. Um, and then Haley plays piano. She dabbles around in that, and Katie doesn't really play anything yet. She's been playing playing around with ukulele and stuff just because we have them, but. She plays the recorder. <laughs> yeah, she plays the recorder. <laughs> Erica played the flute in high school. I played the flute in high school. I could not play a note of flute. She plays you, guitar. Even. I couldn't. Ukulele. Guitar, bass, ukulele. Guitar. Bass, guitar. Bass. Olivia sings. Oh yeah, and Olivia sings. Olivia's an amazing singer. I did not know where she got her voice from because it was not from me. I don't know, Jason, you're probably a better singer than I am. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not nearly as good as she is. Yeah, I'm, she's amazing. I wouldn't say I'm good. Anyway, I'm not going to be on The Voice anytime God-given talent. Jax is like a tech. All right, Cindy Free. What is on your Christmas list, and are you sewing any gifts or doing any crafts? What's on your Christmas <clears throat> list? Big green egg. Big green egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your list is taken care of. You're done. You're cut off. Well, now I might want something else. No. <laughs> what else do you want? I want a one of those stone for the water big, heaters. For the big green egg. A what? A water heater. Oh, for your pour over coffees. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. So Karen L says, thanks so much for your videos. It makes me smile from beginning to end. I love making your bags. Any chance you'll make a larger one, perhaps one that would hold a folded quilt. And she just purchased colors and is looking forward to reading it. She says, what an accomplishment. So thank you guys so much for supporting Olivia and her books. That is awesome. It really means the world to her and us. It's so nice of you guys. Um, what was the first part of her question? I already forgot it. Are you making a bigger quilt bag? Oh yeah. Okay. So I don't have that on my list, but I can definitely add it because I've had a couple requests for a larger tote bag type of thing. So, um, yeah. In case you just want to bring a quilt with you. Well, like a gift or something like that. But some, I think she's just trying to tell me like size wise. Like a kind of something you could haul stuff in. So let me know in the comments below whether you want it to have a zipper or not a zipper and pockets or no pockets. And yeah, I'll try and get one of those up for you. So Kathy Rakow, purchasing Olivia's books, loves her jokes, and subscribe to Haley's YouTube channel. Has Jason decided about the green egg and what does he like to cook on the green egg? Erica, what's your favorite knitted hat and your favorite quilt you have made? So yeah, as you guys saw, I did decide to get that green egg. Um, super excited about it, love it. I've been playing with it, um, cooking lots of stuff on it. I've tried pork shoulder, ribs, brisket, pizza, so. That's it so far. Um, what was your favorite thing so far? Favorite thing to cook or the favorite thing to eat? That we've made out of those four things. I don't know, I thought the pizza was pretty good and maybe that was just because it was the first time. Yeah. Like I've had ribs and, and brisket and all that, so that wasn't as new to me as the pizza. Um, and I've been reading, There's you can cook so many things. Like I'm gonna try something, well, I don't know, like a chicken or something. I feel next. like you should take over dinner. Like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I like the 
pork. That was my favorite. The um, pork was good. And it turned out the pizza. Well. The pizza was. The pizza was amazing. Yeah. I do want to get a new stone though, and somebody re um, recommended a kiln stone because I'm worried I'm gonna crack my pan for chip stone. But yeah, we should so do that. And I want to get one of those cool little. Yeah, we need one of those like spatula spatulas. Things. Yeah. Sweet. So she, Kathy wants to know what your favorite knitted hat and quilt. Uh, that's a hard one. I love this hat. I think I showed this on last night's Vlogmas, so go back there because I can't remember the details already for it. Um, but I also have one of mine, and that was, I think, one of the originals that I made was the Olivia. I named four different hats out of, um, after my daughters. So the Olivia was one of my favorite ones, and then I also did a Cumulus beanie, and that was also my favorite one. So I will link both of those below. My favorite quilt, that's a hard one because I pretty much love them all and every time I make one that's like my new favorite so right now peppermint pines is one of my favorites because that's my new one for this year but I think vintage Christmas is probably one of my all-time faves um, and then a couple patterns by thimble blossoms her patterns are always fun and good so I love those as well so but that's a hard one I love them all all right I think that's gonna be it for us tonight guys thank you so much for joining us for today's episode of vlogmas we hope you enjoyed it and we will see you tomorrow for more vlogmas bye bye got I think a pretty chill day today haha <laughs> no pun intended <laughs> ah, crack myself up we need a new battery already that was fast missing something <laughs> hey whoa my hair is a mess right now mom you can buy them um, hold on I have to take a breath I'm trying to run you didn't run <laughs> across the house Awesome. Thank you guys so much for supporting colors. Olivia is, sorry, Jax is, what, is <laughs> what does he have? I don't know. Jason's looking for tea. I think he's gonna share some of his favorites. I don't know. I'm just gonna sit here and drink a Ask the question again. Yes, um, Stop. That was way too promotional. You're not doing an infomercial here. <laughs> okay, it's like habit. Sorry. Okay, so. Awesome. Okay. You did the buy. You did the buy.